is like a female. I'm a female connoisseur, you feel me? So me, I understand that there's different ways you gotta approach the situation with different females. So that's how I look at beats. It's like the first time I, I approach it, I'll try some shit. If I'm not doing it right, it's like the beat talks to me, like nah. I tell a Spanish bitch it's demon love. She says for her enough for me to know. She always wanna know. When we're starting a new song, we always work backwards from the vocal. So like we'll always have to find a sample or like the music to go with it first. We came up with this like little um piano riff it started as Tori sort of describes some stuff that, that he likes, his sort of sounds, and we sort of went down that route. He starts it, I finish it, and we meet somewhere in the middle. I always used to write, like I used to sit there and write and I found like a lot of times as soon as I would hear a good beat and I would start to write to it, I would be saying so much great shit that by the time I came back to the beat none of it was written down and like eventually I realized it's gotta just be off of feeling. I've never seen anyone work like him at all. Almost, almost. It's really interesting. He's not writing. He's not writing anything down. He's just no, in there going down. over no, and over. He'll sort of do a vibe okay, track, okay. listen back, and he'll remember it. If he, there's a melody that he comes out with in the middle of a section, okay. he'll remember that. Let bit, me hit the second line. Do something the new line. and keep that bit there. It's just like really, yeah, really quite amazing to watch. One more, right? That's the one. <laughs> nah, it sounds like it's the one. But yeah, take these shits to perfection, bro. Like it's that serious. One more time. I got a band of bitches yelling, "Give me love." I don't want this living shit to be alone. 